ELE 1 for 1, Technology in Teaching and Learning 2, Technology in Language Education. Group 5 members, Dayag Jeffrey, Dableu Jet, Dakula Messiliza, Rabonge Sharin Beya, Taneo J5 Productions proudly presents. Pass. Summarize the result of your data collection for Moodle 2 Elaborate. With the same group mates, record and submit a video of that summary. Before we proceed to our summary, let's just first define what is an input, what is production, what is an interaction. What is an input? It basically refers to the exposure of the learners to the language in use. Students can actually get this from their teachers, from the students, and from the environment around them. What is an output? Output is the language that learners produce either speaking or writing. What is an interaction? Interaction, on the other hand, happens when there is an exchange of information or message between people. So, in a classroom setting, interaction happens when there is an exchange of information or message between students and teachers or even among students. So, here is another example. Group 5 Data Collection, Module 2, Elaborate. This is the summarized part. As a result of our group discussion, there are five classroom situations that were collected. Each phase of those classroom situations, there is an integration of input, interaction, and production. And even if the situations are to be taken separately, the integration of those three is still present. This video will give a breakdown of what specific point in a classroom situation where there is an application or integration of input, interaction, and production. Let's start with input. Inputs basically refers to the exposure of the learners to the language in use. Students can actually get this from their teachers, from the students, and from the environment around them. What is taken from the input is internalized by the learners and use it for application later on. The most important and accessible input for learners is during the teacher's discussion. When teachers are giving discussion, the students are given opportunity to actually develop their comprehension. And since input requires listening and reading skills, it is better for teachers to actually tone down their level by choosing the complexity of vocabulary and structures, speed of delivery, degree of clarity, and the range of register and style. Here is an example. I experienced an activity in the subject English with Mom Anita Vikizo that required participation, collaboration, and cooperation. So the activity was paint me a picture. So inputs happen when we did a brainstorming on how we would depict a particular situation using our bodies, and the things closest to us. Along with our groups, in the midst of doing brainstorming, interaction occurred. So, the result produced by the actions of inputs and interaction gave birth to the presentation in the performance test, which is the Paint Me a Picture. Additionally, in the Paint Me a Picture, Interaction was realized when we allowed ourselves to socialize with our teams, to collaborate and cooperate. Right after everything, presentation happened. In presentation, it is when the ideas we have thought of were consolidated as a result of collaboration were put into action. At this point, a situation was reenacted by timing ourselves to pose using the provided situation. The task that was given by our teacher way back in senior high school is to deliver a speech. The input is applied in the class when our teacher had a discussion about the types of speech, including its purpose, how to deliver, the principles of speech writing, and the principles of speech delivery. Another input is applied when our teacher gave us an instruction about our task, wherein we are to deliver a 3-5 to five minute speech in front of the class, along with that is to provide a printed copy of our speeches to our teacher. For the production, it is applied when the time that the class 
deliver the individual speeches in front of the class and of course apply the input. The interaction is applied when the class had to give a comment to the presenter every after presentation. One specific session that our class had been into where there is an application of input interaction and production was with during Mam Kabanatan's class. It was a regular summer class. The first activity that was given to us was to conduct an interview. But prior to the conduct of the activity, our instructor did a discussion about the proper conduct of the interview. During the discussion, the entire class was able to listen to the things she uttered and was able to read the things inserted in the PowerPoint presentation she prepared for the class. At this point, listening and reading skills were practiced. After the discussion, we were given an activity. It was to write a summary of the right conduct of the interview. In this activity, the writing skill of the class was practiced. After that activity, the class then proceeded with the interview. Upon doing the interview, the class was able to interact with the person or their chosen interviewee. After getting the target information, the class then prepared a PowerPoint presentation of the collected data and presented it in front of the class. The last activity, which was the presentation of the collected data, was the application of the lessons that the class had been taught. And those were the lessons that integrated the input, interaction, and production. So, it is very obvious that from the beginning of the activity up until the end, there was already an application of input, interaction, and production. The input refers to the processable language that learners are exposed to. So, one specific session that our class had been into where input was integrated, there was a task given to us and it was to conduct an interview and survey regarding to the launching of the MCUNA AWAN online enrollment. Prior to this, our teacher did a discussion through a PowerPoint presentation to give us an idea of how the given activity was supposed to be done. His discussion somehow gave the class a sort of enlightenment. This discussion was done through reading words and questions presented in the PowerPoint presentation and addressing some concerns of the class. The class, on the other hand, was able to speak as our teacher asked random questions related to his discussion. So in this case, listening, reading, and speaking skills were practiced. So that's where the input was integrated in the classroom teaching. After the discussion of our teacher, he gave us a test and had us review our notes for five minutes. The assessment was to test whether we had truly listened to his discussion or not, also to test if we can decode into words what we had learned and what we had listened after his discussion. So, output begins if the learners try to produce a language, either speaking or writing. After that, the class were divided into eight or more than members, and after each grouping, the class proceeded to the interview. The respondents for that time was the students of the College of Education and Social Sciences which the interview had to be done through interaction and was completely accomplished by the class. So the last task that was given for the entire class was to make a PowerPoint presentation of the collected data. I experienced a classroom activity where in the integration of input, production, and interaction exists. This happened during my grade 8 English class with teacher Jenya. Teacher Jenya discussed about Korean culture and language. And she taught us how to learn Korean language. First, teacher Jenya gave us some basic Korean phrases. She read it first and we are required to utter it. This stage can be viewed as the input stage for the reason that the teacher is the one who transmits the lesson to the students. The meaning of the word or phrases was conveyed with the use of hand gestures in body language. After we learn the basic Korean phrases, teacher Jenya engages us into a series of activities which requires us to use the Korean language. These activities include reciting, acting a particular conversation, or acting a particular line which is being displayed in an LED monitor. These activities can be done either individually or in a pair. 
In performing these activities, we are expected to use a Korean language in which we successfully accomplish. This activity can be viewed as the production stage for the reason that the students are able to produce the gain input. For the interaction, after we learn basic Korean phrases, teacher Jenya invited her Korean friend to visit our class and to join in some of the activities that we will be doing. True enough, we are able to interact with a person who's using the language that we are studying. This stage can be viewed as the interaction stage because there is an interaction between a person who's using the language that we are learning and interaction with student to student. Again, this activities was all mediated with modern technologies and there is also an integration between input production and interaction. In conclusion, our group found out that an effective classroom activities should have the integration of input, production, and interaction. The Trinity is applicable to all subjects and fosters good results in academic disciplines. The activities can be still mediated with modern technologies to enhance the learning process.